Villa for some reason. I, I just think that Tim, he's just got this, this, and, and, and you've got to say Stoke as well with what Mark Hughes is doing. But um, I think Villa with Tim's, I don't know, je ne sais quoi, he's got like Smug Sherwood, I love Smug Sherwood. Um, <laughs> I just feel that they, they could, they could do. It's just, uh, just they're the first ones that come out of their head, I yeah. fancy. Fancy Lost down from Benteke, of course. Brought a few in, in yeah. fairness. The, yeah. Still they're some talk need, about selling yeah, the course, club. They're going to need goals, of, of course. But I just feel that Tim, from the start with the pre-season and everything, he's getting his stamp on him. Maybe he's got to get hold of that Grealish because he looks like he could go the wrong way if he doesn't sort himself out. But he looks like a great player. But I think that I'm, I'm going to go for Villa as my surprise team. Did he? I stick with Palace. Uh, not only did they bring some quality players in, they also capped, well, it's a few weeks to go. Uh, so we don't know. Mm. Um, but if they keep Bolasi, oh, Saha and punch him, I think they create so many opportunities. I watched him at Anfield second last day of the of the season and just a joy to watch Palace. You think about a, a team that Pace. grafts, that uh, mm. grinds a result. Of, no, there was flair, they passed the ball. Um, Yedinak's doing a fantastic job in the middle of the park. Mm. Um, they're good to watch and part of you, they couldn't get him out of the door quick enough at Newcastle. I think... Um, you know they they wouldn't mind having him back now and mm -hmm. and to follow um, the managers who've been there before, uh, being successful to follow that, uh, going the doing the job he did is fantastic. I think they could have a really good season. I think they've got a chance to finish at the top ten. Uh, when we talk about the top five, top six, Everton are probably the ones you've got to fancy, even though they've got their problems. You know I think there's a there's a, a host of names and clubs behind there who could, who could we finish seven. I mentioned who did great last year was Swansea. Swansea again. I yeah. mean they did fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. I, I've got a sneak for them as well. Palace. I think Kabai is a really good buy with that pace. With that pace, he's 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 the guy who can when I was on before stick them passes through. I've just mm. got a sneak for Palace as well. Good season. Good call, Robbie. Stoke. I think Stoke. Mark Hughes. The new Barcelona. Great job. Well, they've got you think they've got Borgen to come back. Yeah. They've got Afalai. Yeah. They've mm. got um, another Barcelona player. Yeah. Um, I can't remember. Uh, Uara <laughs> no, Uarachi, the, the Moroccan. Yes. Yeah. Um, um, <laughs> they've got Van Ginkel. Yes. Um, so, you know, Mark Hughes. Lost and Zonzi, didn't they? But Lost and Zonzi, yeah. But I think Mark Hughes, to finish ninth twice for Stoke, brilliant job. I think Stoke could win the league Berkovich. below the top six. I think they could finish seventh. I think yeah. Stoke could finish seventh and win a trophy this year.